Hello there guys, it's Stephen here back on another video. Once again, Manchester City have drawn a predictably boring team in the FA Cup. Wouldn't it be nice for once to get a lower league team or an exciting away day, someone like Stourbridge, someone like a Macclesfield, but no... We got a Premier League team. As ever is the case, predictable as these things are, we've got West Ham away on the 7th of January. And I'm a bit disappointed by that, I'll be honest. It's a dull, tedious draw. It's the kind of draw that we come to expect in the FA Cup. We don't tend to get easy games. We always get a Premier League team that's struggling a little bit or somewhere around mid-table. And West Ham, in this case, are no exception. They've had a pretty rotten start to the season. I think we'd all agree about that. They're currently sat in 17th. We obviously, we've already beaten once the Etihad this season. Fernandinho and Sterling doing the business there back in August. But it's just a boring, boring draw. I was hoping to see a little bit of excitement, some team that we'd never played against or just, I don't know, an away trip to a League One club, something to be be excited about, something uh, to actually savour, not just another Premier League team, not just another dour game right in the middle of the season against uh, against a team that probably doesn't want to play as either. Neither, this, neither of the teams want this game, but that is just football. And what does it mean for City? It means after a very tough winter schedule, we've got another tough game. West Ham obviously won't be a pushover by that point. I'm sure they'll start to slowly creep back some form. Do Dimitri Payet uh, is obviously a world-class player. Slavin Bilic is excellent. He will surely ignite the spot once again. Uh, but the problem they've got in general, West Ham, is the Olympic Stadium. Since they've moved there, everything has gone downhill. And I'm not surprised. It isn't a good stadium. Uh, technically, it looks lovely, but it's so detached, so far away from the pitch. There's no emotion. And the West Ham fans who do not feel uh, home there. They don't, they don't feel comfortable going there. You can see it rubbing off on the players. You can see it in the atmosphere. Um, we get to go there, which is a positive, I guess. I mean, I'm never been there personally before. I don't think many of us have done, but it's not something I wanted to do at this stage of the season. I was happy to do it just in the league and then concentrate on something else, but this is what it is, and that is life. It does mean that maybe we'll get to see Gabriel Jesus make his debut against West Ham. He will probably be available around about then, allegedly, and that wouldn't be a bad place to start for him uh, away at West Ham. No, but no doubt we'll probably rest a few players, so it'll be an ideal opportunity for him to get involved, but it's not going to be an easy game uh, because we never get easy draws. That's just the way of Manchester City, but I'm still feeling pretty comfortable uh, about this idea. I think we'll be able to go to West Ham, a team that probably will want to focus on the Premier League at this point. They'll want to put all the resources into surviving in the Premier League because their form is terrible. So I suspect they'll make a lot of changes. I suspect we will too, but I suspect that they'll have their eyes somewhere else on the Premier League survival because West Ham dropping out of the Premier League this season would be a disaster that they couldn't afford to deal with financially, I'm sure. So I suspect that uh, it'll probably be a Manchester City win, which is, I guess, the aim of this. But I wanted something a little bit more fun, a little bit more magic, something a little bit more interesting but that isn't the draw that we've got unfortunately this is the draw we have got West Ham versus Manchester City I'm feeling confident but I want to know what you all think anyway let me know in the comments please do drop a like on the video as well let me know what your thoughts are on the game subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to do a Celtic vlog as well I'm looking forward to that one hopefully we'll see some of the youngsters there but yeah let me know what you think about the draw anyway see you later guys